fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. speak to Eivor, but perhaps you must speak to the spirit of the Mary Luid.
not speak to Eivor, but perhaps he will speak to the spirit of the Mary Luhid. Oh, spirit! You have finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain! But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. said that the wicker men must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Ah, a wicker man speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joint. It's the throng. Let there be cacophony! One more! One more! To me, O oh wind. I've come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which charm protects from evil spirits? Which charm protects from evil spirits? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. This dagger is placed upside down. noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone.
Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Speak to me, O oh wind! Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic nut wards off harm. A secure nut indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. Tell me, O oh being of air and light, which is the charm you would use to leave the past behind? The Adame dagger cuts our ties with the past. The upturned blade. Things can be reversed. You know this charm. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The Skull Soul's charm summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion, I speak to druids long dead. But of course, you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodron. Kuth Lodron? <clears throat> Very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Kuth Lodron. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby. Surveying the area, Sudan.
Firewood from firewood burns. Flame kindles flame. And from man goes wisdom to man. And folly to folly. See Mother in the head. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodren, name of Gwilim, who was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Lodren is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You do not have to trust me. Tefter's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. This forest and all of Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevda's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Ludron, the thieves Warren. This is where I leave you. You will find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. See you, old friend. This area is off limits.
is Tefter's voice. So he lives. That must be where Gwilym is hiding. Oh shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under the orders. Elderman Kunin, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sales haunt you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Tefter killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing. T oh, God, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow! Ah, move, fool! Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lord has been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. You've a good heart. Thank you. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefta. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask you myself. Myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we, living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces, it matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. The scrape has changed you, Tether. Changed me. Changed the dress.
keep our eyes open. See you do. 
Do you see? He's hot to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claimed to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunon? I'll gut him. Death and dishonor is the punishment he deserves. All legacy destroyed. Kunon may be ill and aged, but his sword arm is strong. He'll kill you first if you let him. Do not let him. My blade is imbued with the blood of guards and armies. I fear not a single coward. You are resolute, then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefta. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Spread your wings, Sunan. I must 
find Kunan before I'm spotted. The Longhouse is a good place to start. Festivities haven't started yet. There's still time to search for Kunan. Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you find your scarf? Uh, thank you. I found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun. Bridget, I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you gaddle it, then the Babans will do it and all, I'll lay it got... It's you again! The Sowen Butcher! The Sowen Butcher? Never mind. Gwynedd, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um... Okay, so reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. Now I really need to find Kunan. Come on, let's go find him. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It's important. You're lost, Butcher. It's Eivor. Why is that woman... Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in. Only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. I must find her. Have you seen Kunan? Hey, it's the Mary Ruid. Rhyme with me, Mary Ruid. On Samhain night, all out to flight, some to... Uh, oh, you I messed up the rhyme. The man tries to rhyme with all his might. <laughs> Didn't take much to outwit me. <laughs> You're really good. Good enough for a reward. Many thanks. Enjoy the festival. I'm looking for Gloucester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Sounds like some ale will loose in this town. Oh, <laughs> 
You harbor a personal grudge against the church. I hate this town more than I hate the building. Suffer! Jesus, God, my Lord! personal grudge against the church. I hate this town more than I hate the building, or, Lord forbid, God himself. That? You harbor a personal grudge against the church. I hate this town more than I hate the building, or, Lord forbid, God himself. Damn kids here keep ruining my offerings in his glory. Offerings? Windows! Do you know the work, the artistry that goes into making a sheet of glass into a martyr? The pretty glass pictures. They do break. Pretty glass pictures. They do break easily. Yes, they do. Moons of painstaking work, shattered by one foul stone sent by pagan ruffians. I'm very sorry for the loss of your work. I must get going. Wait, wait! One last drink before you go. A toast to Elderman Coonan. Or a toast to Sowin. One to the Mary Lewid. You want to, is uh, glass. <laughs> if I break the glass window. I can get into the church. Kunan is inside. I must find a way to get in. There you are, Snake Tongue. Eivor! Hey, <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly. But I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? And an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevdur's murder, Eivor. 
all to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... you and Mother... then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Then make your peace with God, Britain. For shitting on my name and drugging me is an offense I kill for. I'm to be dead within the Wicker Man by Samhain's end. I beg you, let me die for my people. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenive, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunin. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and churning us alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. <laughs> Stop! You there! Oh. We shoot on the oh, oh, dear. Hey! You kills!
Guards here are legend. What do you see? It's faint, but I recognize Mordron's voice.
Need to be careful there. Stepped into Alzheimer. Why is this? Stepped into Alzheimer. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron, stay your blade. Die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods!
do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I cut my own path. Lord in his mercy. What sorcery happened here? The high priestess Modrum tried to kill you. Why? In God's name, I've done nothing to her. She feared the church would use you as God's hammer. So she convinced Kunan to have you killed. Kunan and Modrum conspired to bring about your end. Now, both lie dead by my hand. Such a waste of life. The devil whispers into the ear of man. But we must ignore his voice. Modern had a vision of you wiping out the pagans. And Gwynedd is Kunan's bastard. So he simply did it to protect his kin. Love for one's child is a virtue. But wrath is a sin. How can one entangle with the other? We all lose our heads when our legacy is threatened. Be that name, kingdom, or child. Now, what of the witchling? I'll see that she's cared for. She has no guilt in this. I will not join your Church of Christ! You won't have to. I have returned. Guna, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. 
You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this waker king, and then be on our way home. Yes. Ranvi will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. Survey the ambulance. The burning of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people. So that they may prosper. But this is an empty platter for your gods. Hungry bellies are known to retaliate. None can take Kunon's place. And to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. That you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer turn my eye from anything. Tradition dictates the burning be overseen by the High Priestess. Modron is missed here. My hand has hindered this blow twice, then. Then I will oversee, as is my right, my blood. I took Motherin from you. You have every right to feud with my line. One you old enough to hold a sword. Mother saw your fate. The future will punish you greater than I ever could. Punishment or not, you will go into the future as Gloucestershire's ally. And someone I will never forget. Let the flame be set. May the crop be abundant. Eivor, the honor is yours. Praise the harvest, King. Bloody pagans! Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. May I see your stores? Ah, that one's pretty good. Ah, let me look at you. Wonderful.
we're done for now. I will see you later, friend. Until next we meet. Who could Gothban be? One of us? Pleasure to I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glauichestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased.
How you imagined it. Paula? Paula, my love. Mm. Paul lends me strength. It is just how you imagined it. Hello, stranger. What is this place? Do you like it? My wife and I have constructed it from ancient stones. It is a house of dreams and memories, fashioned from gossamer and summer breezes. It is beautiful. Paula and I have traveled near and far. Oh, the things we've seen, and done! When I say far, I mean to distant lands beyond your imagination. Each brick of this castle is a memory from our adventures. You have gathered wisdom from your travels. I have, and it is this. It is all very well to prepare for tomorrow. But do not forget today. Today. This hour, this moment, is a precious gift. Paula and I will look out from our window over the green of England and recall the hours of our travels. From our window, we can relive our adventures. There she is now! I must go to her! Thank you for your words, friend.
my eyes, Zunan. What does your dick? Man your arm! Okay. Let the sail out! Strike up a two. for land under Hemingway Yarl's rule. Norway wolf kissed. Really would be pleased to know it. We have all come a long way. Information? I have it. Do you need it? My prices are competitive. All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. I have. Good to see Billy again. 
Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! I can out Make sure the supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trygvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingryal looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Heming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river. But these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Heming a Jarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred a large worth debt. But my youth rendered me too proud to pay it off. I wanted to raid, not toil. For my failure, Heming the Jarl could have taken what he wanted from my family, including our lives. But... Done for now! Picks ashore! Protect the convoy! Bones! Hey! There's no need for this. Ready!
Come the rich! Got the convoy! Oars! Back us around! The convoy is laid bare! Ready, folks! Fire! 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 will be pleased. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on? Let's put her in here. We can use the sail here, Abel. Let's go. the ship here. I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Heminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. My sheepskin. That there is Eivor the wolf -kist. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. The Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Hemingyayal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stoneber. Should any picked escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow.
You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my callous hands? You can have your glory, Vili. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons! Bring victory today! For tomorrow, we feast! The arrows! May they burn with flame unbridled! The big chief hides behind his men like a coward. No doubt he will be well fortified here. Look for him on high ground. I will have his head. Fight by your side again. Okay. <laughs> 
Injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. My son, all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Billy who summoned me, or you, Hemingan? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Billy since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Your sight 
is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. Go, Lewis! Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. Remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours? It was you who got us stuck there. 
Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast. I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Narstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? <laughs> Stonebur, was Trigvay not sent there by father to help? We must go! Happened. I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. This was my last day on Midgard. There's anyone! Anyone out there! Thank you. Thank you. There are others. Please help them too. My wife, please, leave me be!
Please! Hurry! He cannot breathe! More people to save. We are running out of time. Neighbor, you carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank to your father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. 
You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Heminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. Yes. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? You braced yourself for what is to come. I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. That's the one! Kill! 